Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. Happy Thirsty Thursday. Yes, I'm Molly and I'm in Brooklyn. I'm Kali and I am in NJ. I was going to be there, but baby, baby Nugget needed me to stay. So we're doing it virtually again today. Yeah, I changed up. Uh, our my post said um, we have a special surprise, and I changed it really quickly before I posted it because you couldn't come. The surprise but, is I'm not there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to be together doing this for a change, um, which we really like to do. But this is the next best thing, right? Yeah. And it's become the new norm. It yes, but we will. I will be there later in the month for sure. So cheers. Yes, cheers to a new yeah. wine. Yes, this came on the site a week ago, week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a red blend from Mendocino County Which called Gallivant Red Wine. Again, that is, I'm, gonna, I'm cheating, but isn't Mendocino, and I said this to Michelle, isn't it the one county in California that certified non- GMO. I, I think I think that you're right. I can't say a hundred percent, but I feel like I've heard that before. Okay. Well, lightning won't strike you if that it's not correct. But I believe that I believe I know that to be true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's um sixty percent petite Syrah and forty percent spin. Mm hmm It's a really pretty color. Yeah. I don't have anything. I can one of her medium. Weeks. I'd say medium garnet. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, you can't see straight through the bottom. But it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's opening up. I probably opened it up in the bottle about an hour ago. I came back from doing, I was telling Colleague before we started doing laundry again. Last night, I was overconfident. <laughs> <laughs> and my neighbor, who's so sweet, was like, oh, are you doing your laundry for the month? That's for the month, oh my god, <laughs> I do at not. least at least two loads a week. Well, I mean, I've done probably fifty loads in the past three weeks to get a baby. But anyway, so I've opened this up a while, not a while ago, like an hour ago. Same, I opened mine about an hour ago. It's definitely opening up more, and I can smell. Yeah. It was a little flat when I first opened it. I do smell yeah. the blackberry more now, and the espresso. No, sorry, I'm like. Right, so, and, and I get, see, I get tobacco more than espresso. But it, uh, for those of you that have had the resident red blend, this is what it was compared to. And I don't, I don't see it. Yeah, I would not. <laughs> that was one of my favorite wines. Yeah, that was like a go-to um by itself, didn't need anything. Like I, I like this wine, but I think, and I'm also I haven't eaten really today, so I'm hungry, so that can be, you know, yeah. coloring. But I think this would go really good with it'd be paired with something. Like I feel like the resident red, you could just, you know, open it up, pour it in a glass, and you know, there you go. Yeah. We ordered pizza tonight, so I'm hoping it goes well with pizza. Oh, I'm sure it will. Yeah. I'm making I'm making mahi mahi. Um just heard it go off. <laughs> <laughs> and some um those Alexia. Have you ever had that that brand? I think it's Alexia. I'll have to drop it in the comments. It's like an organic. They have like, you know, French fries and um like mashed potatoes, vegetables, whatever. Anyway, it's they're really, really good. And it's an organic brand. So I'm having that. I was really looking forward to having, what is the name of that, that place in New Jersey? Farnolio. Mm, yeah. That's an know. Italian bakery. They have the best <laughs> bread, the best olive the, oil. We'll have to drop the link and the, it, I mean, I have my, I sent my mom the menu. I was like, what do you want? We were going <laughs> Yeah. This is how I'm going to draw you back. <laughs> <laughs> to reschedule. I mean, it is so good. That place is so good. So just looking forward. Well, seeing you too. But of course, the same. <laughs> second, second to my children and the olive oil. <laughs> I, I guess I'll, I gull hang out with you as well. 
<laughs> right. I mean, you know, it's a package deal. It's a package yeah. deal. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, this like wine, this. The, you know? are, you, are you disappointed in this wine? Am I disappointed? Yeah. I was I just when people were comparing it to the resident, I was so excited. Well, the resident is one, like uh. the, one of my favorites. So it's almost like when you go see a movie and you don't know anything about it. Yeah. Better. Right. You know, and so yeah, because it's not the resident. And like I know, I wish people hadn't said, said anything about it. <laughs> how much Grenache did the resident have? Only like 10%. But it was, was it Petit Syrah and Zen and Grenache? Was that the mix? Um, I can't remember. I don't think Zen was in it. I think it was maybe just Syrah and Grenache. Okay. Yeah, so it's like if you haven't had the resident red, you're not gonna, you know, it's, it, I like this wine. I, what is it? It's a $24 bottle of wine. You know, it's going to probably go great with your pizza, hopefully great with my, you know, fish, which I know you don't normally maybe have red wine with fish, but I'm do my own thing here. <laughs> do what I want to do. <laughs> you know, but you wouldn't, you haven't had the resident to compare it to. You right. know, I think this is a nice wine. It's a great price point. I think it would go well with a lot of food, mm -hmm. a lot of different types of food. Like, yeah meat dish or a vegetarian dish i think it could but i definitely myself would pair it with something yeah i think yeah i think that's a good point because I, I think it's it's a little um it's fruity but it has because of i think maybe the tobacco it's got a flavor that you like you said you just needs to be paired with something and balanced out yeah, and that's and I was just telling Kali my W set test was rescheduled due to our regional conference, and it's the fifteenth. And I was going over some of that stuff last night, like how important it is sometimes to pair your wines properly, and like you don't want to have food that overpowers your wine or wine that overpowers your food, and how it can totally be a game changer for your wine. Mm -hmm. You know, like you can. I remember I've had wine eons ago. And I was like, oh my God, this is maybe it's corked or something, you know, and then paired it this and it was like a whole new wine, you know, so when in doubt, you know, break out some food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is, it's fruity and bold and it's vegan. Yes. Um, 0.72 grams of residual sugar mm -hmm. and 14% alcohol. Yes. Um, but it, it's, it's not bad. Like you said, it's just not what I was No, expecting. I would give it a thumbs up for sure. I just would not compare it to the resident red. Yeah. What are you looking at? I was looking at the, the tasting notes. Sometimes we're funny. <laughs> <laughs> What was I gonna? I was looking at uh, the whole thing about petite Syrah, Syrah, and Syrah are diff are different but related. What is the um, the other word for petite Syrah? Are you don't cheat? Did you just cheat? Oh, it's it's like a, a it's a French word, right? Or a, is it French? Right. Yeah, it's from France. It's from created by the botanist. So, yeah, you know, I was gonna say I, I was I wasn't gonna say botanist, but I was gonna say scientist. <laughs> well, close enough. It's Francois Drief from Montpellier, France, in 1880, when he crossed Syrah and another word together. <laughs> this is when we need Patricia, right? I know Patricia. Yeah, it's um, Polarism. I'm sure that's not even remotely right, but you know, we're we're here to educate you, our viewer, <laughs> and us all at exactly same, all yeah. at the same time. We're all we, in a trust tree. We we learn just as much every every tasting as hopefully you guys do. Oh, I so. can definitely more taste. I can definitely. Wow, the blackberry just jumped out of the glass. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Anyway, we'll stop chatting like we're by ourselves. So you guys let us know what you're tasting tonight. Yes. And let us know if you've tried the Gallivant and what if you've had it with food, what you've paired it with, because it needs something. And we'll report <laughs> back how it goes with our dinners. Exactly. Have a good night. Cheers. Cheers. Good to see you.